King Charles arrived by helicopter today for a special ceremony with Prince William, where he will officially hand over command of Prince Harry's former regiment. The 75-year-old monarch will bestow the prestigious position of Colonel-in-Chief of the Army Air Corps to his heir at the Army Aviation Center in Middle Walla, Hampshire. William will represent the Army's airborne wing, including his brother's former Unit 662 Squadron. The Duke of Sussex served in the regiment as an Apache helicopter pilot in Afghanistan, and it was widely thought he would have taken the role until he made the decision to step back from royal life in 2020. The rare joint engagement for Charles and Williams comes on the same day. The estranged Harry is jetting back from his quasi-royal tour in Nigeria with his wife Meghan Markle. The Sussexes will head back to their Montecito mansion in California following their rock star tour. Buckingham Palace announced last week that the king would have a joint engagement with William to pass on the role he held for 31 years to his eldest son. Charles announced in August last year that William would be appointed as Colonel-in-Chief, while also granting the Princess of Wales three new roles. A royal spokesperson said, at the Army Aviation Center in Middle Wallop, His Majesty the King will officially hand over the role of Colonel-in-Chief of the Army Air Corps to His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. In August 2023, following His Majesty's accession, the king was pleased to announce military appointments, including that the Prince of Wales would become Colonel-in-Chief of the Army Air Corps. The role was previously held by His Majesty, the King, as Prince of Wales, for 31 years. It came just two hours after Harry's spokesman said the king was too busy to see his youngest son during his whistle-stop trip to the UK to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. The Duke of Sussex was in London for three days last week, but Hash, due to the king's busy schedule, was unable to meet his father. Harry's spokesperson confirmed that it was unfortunately not possible for the pair to meet due to His Majesty's full program, as he returns to public duties after undergoing treatment for cancer. Following much speculation over whether the Duke would pop in to visit his father, who he last saw in February following his shocking diagnosis. Harry's spokesperson confirmed there was no time for a reunion. In response to the many inquiries and continued speculation on whether or not the Duke will meet with his father while in the UK this week, it unfortunately will not be possible due to His Majesty's full program, he said.